Uh, I'm Jonathan Citrin. I teach in the law school, uh, the Kennedy School, and the computer science department here. And I'm a co-founder of something called the Berkman Center for Internet and Society. And I also run the Harvard Law School Library. Well, I study uh, the future of the internet, uh, the forces that shape it, the way in which it can affect our behavior. And of course, there's a lot of overlap between that and what's going on in the scholarly and teaching worlds uh, as those things have gone digital too. Well, I see open access as implicating uh, teaching, research, and access to the raw sources that are used to generate uh, both of those things. So uh, as a teacher, even for something that's non-technically uh, focused, like first year torts at the law school, uh, where I ban laptops uh, even, uh, I'm interested in ways in which I can take my syllabus and materials and put those online for any other professor to read, to remix, ultimately making a community of people who teach a class like torts and have them able to drag and drop from different syllabi elements from those various syllabi and with those elements come the underlying materials too. So this is a way of thinking of open access not just as stuff for which there used to be a paywall and now there isn't or I'm writing a scholarly article how can I make as many people able to see it as possible, both of which are important open access uh, issues, but also seeing the way in which open access can create communities of people, trading material around, improving it as they go, letting new courses get developed very easily because they're no longer along the worn ruts of where there happen to be casebooks. Open access makes all of that possible because it's like that Amazon shopping cart, I drag and drop, I don't have to clear the permissions because it's already open, and then when I click checkout, the cost is zero to me as the professor and to my students. Within law, there is, as in many other fields, a real desire by uh, authors to have their stuff read. Uh, maybe some fields uh, who shall remain un nameless might be a little more esoteric and it's really just you're writing for 10 people and if they read your stuff and they like it then all's well with the world. Much of the writing in law is meant to have interfaces with public policy, with uh, issues in the public eye and I think authors really like the added exposure uh, that they get when they're putting something out for everyone uh, to be able to see. And I think one of the promises of open access in the future as we develop annotation tools, ways of being able to quote large blocks of text from upstream articles, ways to process uh, the links among them and see where the dialogue is as evidenced by those links. All of those things will contribute, I hope, to more dialogue and a little bit less monologue I in the space. This video was produced by the Office for Scholarly Communication, a program of the Harvard Library.